Hi, I've rebooted and that was the only issue I had. So I did go to uh, follow the link here of uh, the fixedbyvonnie.com link here and I would like to include it for other people to, to just show you where it is but it was not the issue, the issue was just reboot. <laughs> Don't forget this is Windows, reboot. Now the thing where you might need to install it anyway is um, well to change it like it says on the article there um, come on where are you programs and so just check out the icons the icons are say everything so it's this little screen here where you need to check if it was not active um, here it is so these guys are not active or they were not active the only thing I need to do is reboot so when you do reboot then you have the virtual box, you can just type ahead virtual box. And then again, when we press the new one, let's type it again. Arco Linux multi minimal. It's Linux, that's good that it knows. And there you are already. He has already selected the 64 bits. So, so after reboot, you get lots of lines and you have both of them. Now you know. Uh, probably I, at some point in time they'll change, but there is still support, not official report, but Arch Linux of Arch Linux has gone for 64 bits. So next up is deciding what hardware to use. We have 16 megabytes, so thousand uh, gigabyte of uh, uh, RAM, so we give more or less half of it, around eight-ish, to the system. And create a virtual hard disk, best thing to do, next, 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 dynamically allocate, and about 20 is more than enough to just start trying out your system. So that's the name, that's the size, then we create. Let's open this up. You can click here, or you should click on details, and then everything becomes more uh, visible. So this is these are all your settings, but there are more settings you can try out. So let's take a look at them together. So the name, you can still change the name here. And here we have some choices as well. But actually we've decided about that, right? So advanced, shared clipboard, never tried it on, on Windows. So let's uh, set it up anyway, see if it works. Probably not, but let's try anyway. So shared clipboard, drag and drop, by directional description, disk encryption, okay. This we've decided already, half of it. This is if you want to have EFI, so not BIOS, but uh, the newer kind of uh, boot up. But it's, they say, of we read articles that it still says to be more or less experimental, but I did try it on Arch and Arco Linux, and it works. Just need to tweak a little bit. Um, well, some, some fixes to boot into EFI, but it's doable. The processor, we have eight cores, so we're best to give half of it to the virtual box. And this one, we enable it as well. So when check the physical address extension, PAE, feature of the host CPU will be exposed. This is the ink C minus B. If you don't do that, you don't see anything about your CPU information, for instance. That's already done. Display, I'm gonna give half. I've just learned on the forum. So if you don't give anything, then, then it really just crashes and uh, it will not work. So we really need to give, well, let's say half of it to the virtual box. One monitor, enable 3D acceleration, always put it on, but we don't really need, I think. But it's on anyway. Storage and all the rest. We can leave. I haven't done anything about shared folders, so if you want to share a folder between the host and the guests, then you can define it here. I've made a tutorial about it on Arch Linux. It's easy, it works, it, it, it really works. And in Arch Linux, we have this uh, alias you could, should check out a VVM, virtual box mount, VVM. And then you mount a specific folder we've defined in your system. 
and then you can share. So in this case, I'm not going to try that. But we still need our uh, ISO. So that's the last thing. So this thing is, in, for me, actually all the settings are now super, right? They're all set, they're great. So I clone it and I'll call it as a, a template. This is my template and next time I'll make an um, next time I'll make another try of any Linux distribution. This is going to be my template. I'm gonna clone this one again. Clone and then everything is set already. The cores are set, etc. 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 Right? So this one is going to be the one I'm needing. So choose disk downloads arc links open up. So the only thing we need to know, do now is double click or start. I usually double click this thing. And this can go down. Well, yeah, we get a lot of messages. So read the messages and then click on this icon. Do not show this message again. Otherwise, you'll see it again and again and again and again. Right. So full screen. If I click here, I get a message. Read about it. It's the right control button. Do not show it. Capture. Okay. Then another one is Control F, Control F, so right Control F. Read about it full screen. Do not show. Okay, switch, and then enter. And we're off installing any ISO you have. Another message. You read the message up here, and again click away. So there were four, I think. We have to click away, but to read it. But of course, if you've done so many installations already you know what it will say so um, GOIP is again working in version 18.11 it's it always depends on these free services still they if they still remain free you know so now it knows again that I'm living in Belgium not in Brussels but in Belgium so Belgian is uh, my keyboard as well and I always say erase everything I never manual partition anything I let him do its thing so next what is your name and then I'm going to give it the name of the thing I'm going to install By the way, so I'm choosing a password and I'm saying login automatically without asking the password and admin password is the same. And then the by the way, by the way, you can also change up front here the system language will be set to English. So you can set a lot of things in here as well for the numbers and the dates if you don't want to. For instance, if I would install this as not an English but as an, a Belgian. A Dutch kind of system then this system will think I speak German and I don't I speak Flemish so need to set everything here uh, right if I want to have that but I just keep everything in English that's the way I like it so erase disk everything is still set and off we go we just read everything is still correct English 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 and it is the Belgian keyboard I'm going to use no, it's the English US default keyboard I'm going to use. So I have to move back. It has forgotten that I want Belgian. Next, next, next. Read again. So your Brussels system English is English. Numbers and dates is English. And I have a Belgian keyboard. And this long hard disk, this is going to be divided into pieces. So a swap piece and an X4. Good to know where it did the name. It's formatting and we install and that's it so basically um, this this look what you see is is just a passing through there is nothing to be said about this environment uh, other than you have here some elements to change your wallpapers which is already a wallpaper coming from desktop we're at Paris at this point in time and um, you just move along with all these wallpapers. So that's variety for you. And it's a wallpaper gatherer. So it gathers the wallpaper, it's, it changes the wallpaper, and it's coming from desktopper.co. I have an account there, and you can, I have around 1,500 beautiful wallpapers, and they've all 
they all came from Variety. I never look for wallpapers, I always get them from Variety. Just say, I mark them as my favorites, so I say to the machine here, hey, copy to the favorites, and then in time everything has moved to Dropbox via Desktopper. There's also a network manager that's here available and our update manager. The update manager is telling me to update only 27.2 megabytes, which is nothing really for Arch. And then we have here the repos, but we need to update everything, uh, run a command, and then everything is available. Not important. We're a live user, so we start a lot of stuff and a clock. And that's basically it. There is no menu. So the idea of the other um, installations besides Arco Linux is that we use or reuse the Arco Linux ISO and this thing is just a pass-through delivery system. We use XFCE as delivery system to install your desktop. That's exactly what we do. Okay, enough speeching. I'm gonna pause the video here and wait till it's done. Okay, it says he's all done. Restored now. Done. And maybe something you could do as well. So if you do Ctrl F again, you'll see that you're back out of the full screen. And he asks now, or he starts now with the ISO. So yeah, you could just kill it here. That's a possibility. Power of machine. No problem. No, no, no issues here. But you can also go down there and say power off. Because I just want to show you that you can just get rid of this here. So the ISO is now out, the drive, the drive is empty, and if you reboot now, yeah, it's in the back. <laughs> if you reboot now, there you are. Control F again, you'll see the standard uh, pop-up. This is the normal pop-up, the graph showing up and you deciding what line to launch. So this is Arco Linux B. When this happens, a small screen like this, don't panic, just go inside and wait for it. Two things can happen now. Either it acknowledges your screen, it says, oh, I have 1920 on 1080 in my case, and it's going to maximize, or that does not happen, that's possible too. Then you log out again, log out, and you log back in. And then usually 100% of the cases, uh, he figures out, oh, I have more real estate, I have more pixels than I thought. So that's um, a clue, a tip. So there you go, we have here a system now, we can try out. Um, there are many desktops around. This is the Mate desktop, you'll probably know it from Ubuntu Mate. Um, so there are lots of other variations, Linux, Mint has a Mate, and, and so on. So yeah, even Source has a Mate. So it doesn't matter on what Linux system you're on, I'm already uh, glad you are on a Linux system. And a desktop, well, it's a choice. And choices are there for you. That's just the fun in Linux. There are so many choices. Maybe that scares some people as well. It's possible that you say, I don't know what to choose anymore. And I understand that. Let me just quickly go to articlelinuxb.com and show you that you have to choose your project. Huh? If you choose, choosing your project is not that easy. No, it's not that one that I want to show. Um, build your own vision. So these are the guys you can do. You can, can install on VirtualBox. You can install Arco Linux. That's this bunch. Or you can install Arco Linux D. But you can also install any of these guys. All this is all different desktops. Awesome is a desktop, BSPW is a desktop. So all these desktops you can install. And these are the complete desktop with, with lots of software. And this is more a minimal kind of desktop with less software where you, where you need to install more. So yes, I understand there are choices, but that's the fun in Linux. And uh, I invite you to join us in our Linux quest and to know more about Linux, understand more about Linux, but also have more fun in Linux than we can have in the other operating systems. All right, enjoy your VirtualBox, enjoy Arc Linux. Cheers.